Hello, my name is Eden, and me and my friend Little Iguana are going to read the story A Day at the Park, brought to you by Little Iguana's Children's Safety Foundation. While Little Iguana was coming down the stairs, his father called out, Little Iguana, could you pick up the newspaper outside for me, please? Sure thing, Dad, said Little Iguana. Little Iguana stepped outside to a beautiful day. He wondered if Jags would like to go to the park and play basketball. After eating a healthy breakfast to give him energy for the day, he asked permission to go to the park. He looked his dad right in the eyeballs and said, Dad, can I go to the park with my friend today? Yes, you can go. That sounds like a lot of fun. Make sure to be back before it gets dark outside, Little Egg's dad said. Little Guana called his friend Jags. Hello, Jags said through the phone. Hey Jags, do you want to go to the park today? Asked Little Guana. How fun! Let me check with my mom first and ask permission to go. Little Guana heard Jags put the phone down and return a few moments later. My mom said yes, I'll meet you outside and we can walk together. Is Jojack coming too? Asked Jags. Good idea. It's always smart to walk with more friends in a group together. I'll call and ask him right now. We can walk by his house on our way. See you soon, said Little Iguana. After Little Iguana hung up the phone with Jags, he called Jojack. Do you want to come with Jags and me to the park? Little Iguana asked. That would be great. Let me check with my dad. When Jojack came back, he said, my dad gave me permission to join you. I'll meet you guys outside. Jags and Little Guana met, then walked over to Jojack's house. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'm leaving for the park. I'll see you later, said Jojack, walking out of the house. The three friends walked to the park. When they arrived, all the basketball courts were being used. Hey, Little Guana, said one of the boys on the court. Would you, Jags, and JJ like to join our game? We sure would, Little Guana replied. Thanks. After a few games, Little Guana and his friends were tired. They noticed it was late, and Little Guana said, Thanks for letting us play with you. It was fun, but I have to go now before it gets dark. We have to go too, said Jags and JJ. As the three friends started to walk home, Jags noticed a man coming towards them. Hey, do you guys know who that is? I think it looks like our gym teacher, but I'm not sure, JJ said. Hey kids, said the stranger. My puppy is missing in the park. Could you help me find him? No, answered Little Iguana. We don't have permission to go with you, followed Jags. Little Iguana and his friends knew that they did not have permission to go with the man, so the person is a stranger. They were taught, even if they know the person, they need to get permission from the adult in charge before going anywhere with anyone. Well, I can introduce myself. My name is Mr. Beach, said the stranger. Since you know my name, I'm not a stranger. Please help me find my puppy. My car is right over there and we can get ice cream after we find him. Little Quana knew something was not right and felt his harm alarm go off. He stepped back and yelled, no, someone help us. We don't know this man. We don't have permission to go with him. Help, a stranger, yelled Joe Jack as they ran back to the basketball courts where there were a lot more people and some adults. The three friends all ran home safely. When Little Guana got home, he told his parents what had happened to him and his friends at the park. His dad said, Little Guana, you and your friends did great today. Little Egg's mom said, I'm so glad you listened to your harm alarm. You made the right choice because a stranger is anyone you didn't get permission to go with. The man seemed friendly, but then I remembered he was still a stranger, said Little Egg. It's always important to get permission first, even if you know the person. We wouldn't want you or your friends to ever get hurt, said Little Egg's dad. You did the right thing, said Little Egg's mom. You remember to run, 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 yell and tell. If you do not know the person and you do not have permission to go with them, you always need to listen to your harm alarm. I'm glad you're safe. The end. For a downloadable version of this storybook, look at the link below. Thank you for watching.